happy. It's back. I'm so happy. Yeah. And I think it was right to rest it. Yeah. And, you know, it's the right thing to do, but it's back and we're so excited Who about it. Who would you it. like to be in it? Because obviously you probably don't know yet, I assume. Oh, God. I love Britney, um, Paris Hilton, <laughs> anybody. <laughs> Anybody that's going to be, I don't know, interesting and entertaining to watch. I'd love some like old, I'd love some old hip hop star like Flavor Flav or Chuck D, some like renegade sort of. Do you know what I mean? That would be good. Um, I haven't heard it myself, but I think a lot of people are passing judgment without having heard it, and I think it's important that we hear what they said and how it was meant before we complain. I think there's, we've got a culture of complaining sometimes, and I've only read it, and on paper it looks pretty bad. Yeah. But a friend of mine who's heard it said, you know, it really, they didn't mean it that badly. Please go and listen to it. So I said, okay, I will, and I'll go and listen to it tonight. Do you think now they apologize, it's kind of... I'm not sure if the apology was quite heartfelt enough, but again, I'm slightly trying to forgive them because they're comedians but I think they need to do a bit more of a heartfelt apology and then I'm over it I'm over it but we still want them around do you think do you think not be here really do you think it's kind of that they've they've done that's their job that they wind people up professionally and do you, do you know I, I, I personally speaking I'm not that keen on comedy at somebody else's expense but they are funny those guys and I and we can't deny that